Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this Python tutorial, we explain how to correctly run Spider Python Editor in virtual environments and how to install custom Python packages in the Spider Editor. Here is the motivation. Although I'm a big fan of Visual Studio Code or VS Code, I still think that Spider is easier for the development of scientific software and for debugging. Maybe this is my personal preference due to the fact that I spent a significant amount of time during my PhD working in MATLAB. And since Spider is developed for scientific computing, for me, Spider seems like a natural Python development environment. On the other hand, my suggestion is to use virtual environments whenever you can. By using them, you can have precise control of all the packages that your software relies upon. You can be confident that your software will work on other platforms as long as the required packages and their versions are installed from scratch in the virtual environment. Also, by using virtual environments, you can avoid version conflicts with the base Python or Anaconda environments. However, I have struggled a lot to figure out how to properly run Spider inside of user-defined virtual environments. Finally, I figure out how to properly configure Spider such that it can recognize the virtual environment and such that it can execute the code inside of the virtual environment. I'm sharing with you my knowledge and experience so you can save time and become a more productive Python developer. Okay, let's start with explanations. The first step is to open a Windows command prompt and to create our Python virtual environment as well as to install the packages. Let's do that. Click here and search for command prompt. And here's the command prompt. I will resize it such that you can see what I'm typing and also you can see the commands over here. Let's go to our base C drive. And let's create a folder called codes. Execute this command. I will not execute this command since I already have the folder called codes. And after that, navigate to the codes folder. Inside of the codes folder, let's create another fo folder called spider. Or test spider to be more precise. And let's navigate to that folder. This folder will be the base folder for our virtual environment. To create our virtual environment, we need to execute this command, Python with an option M. Then we need to call VNV command, and we need to specify the name of the environment. In my case, the name of the environment is environment1. However, you can use any other name. Now, if you type this command, you will see the environment folder where all the packages and all the configuration files will be created and installed. Okay, let's activate the environment. To activate the environment, we need to type environment1, then scripts, then we need to execute this file called activate that bat. This is a scripting file that will activate the environment. And once you execute this file, you will see over here environment one. This means that the environment is being created. Okay. Here as a test case, let's create an environment where NumPy will be installed. To install NumPy, simply type pip install NumPy. And over here, we will just execute this command. And we are deliberately only installing NumPy in order to verify that Spider will be able to recognize this environment. Now, let's type pip or pipe list, however you like, and let's see what happens. Okay, so we have NumPy over here and we have pip or pipe, however you like to pronounce. Good. Next, we need to figure out the path and location of the Python executable file 
inside of our environment. Namely, whenever Python is being executed, it's not executed from the global path of the Windows, it's executed from a folder inside of our environment. And the Python executable is inside of this folder and inside of several subfolders in this folder. However, we don't need to search. We just need to execute this command and this command will list the path and location of the Python executable. So it's over here. Inside of the folder environment, there is a scripts folder and there is python.executable and memorize this location. However, here for illustration, let's verify that Python is located there and here it is. It's exactly there. Good. After creating our Python virtual environment and installing the package, we are ready to start Spider and to configure Spider such that it can execute Python. There are several approaches for starting Spider on Windows. The first approach is to click on Start and to search for Spider. And you can simply click over here and Spider will start. Now, I noticed that on some computers you will not see Spider by searching like this. Now, if you don't see Spider, then you need to start Anaconda Navigator. So search here for Anaconda Navigator and click on Anaconda Navigator and wait. It will take some time for Anaconda Navigator to be initialized and to load everything. Over here, you will see the Spider option. And first of all, you will see an option to install Spider. So click on Install. And after that, you can click on Launch and Spider will be launched. And here it is. The first step is to tell to Spider to execute the Python interpreter inside of our virtual environment. That is, we need to tell to Spider to execute this file when running Python programs. Let's do that. To do that, click on Tools and click on Preferences. And over here, click on Python interpreter and analyze what's written over here. Here it's written, select the Python interpreter for all Spider consoles. You have the default option and this default option will actually run the Python interpreter from the base Anaconda environment. And we don't want to do that. We want to run Python from our virtual environment. Consequently, select the second option, click over here, then click over here and find the path to the Python interpreter inside of our virtual environment. It's under codes, test spider, environment one, scripts, and here's the file. And that's precisely the file over here under environment one and scripts. And let's click on open and let's click OK. For these changes to take effect, you need to click on consoles and you need to restart the kernel and click on yes. And voila, you will see this problem. Let's analyze what's written over here. It's written, the Python environment or installation whose interpreter is located at here doesn't have the spider kernels module or the right version of it installed. And here you can see the version that need to be installed. Without this module, it's not possible for spider to create the console for you. And then they give a remedy. The remedy is actually to execute this command. And this command will install spider kernel modules inside of our virtual environment such that we can run spider inside of our virtual environment. And that's the final modification that we need to do. Good. So let's do that. Before I do that, I have to mention that you shouldn't execute this. Conda install spider kernel. This is because we are not running spider from anaconda virtual environment that is we don't want to do that however if you are actually running or created a conda 
virtual environment, then you should use this first option. However, in our case, it's the second option. So let's go back over here and let's just execute this command. And this should install spider kernels modules and libraries and we will be able to run spider. So be patient over here. Let's wait a little bit and here it is. Now if you type pip install or pip list, you should see all the packages and here they are. Perfect. We have spider kernels as you can see over here as well as some additional packages. For these changes to take effect, let's close Spider and let's restart Spider. To restart Spider, we simply need to go back again to Anaconda and to launch Spider. And let's be patient over here again. Click on Cancel. Then over here, let's verify that the settings are still correct. Tools preferences, click on Python interpreter, make sure that the same file is being selected, that is the file should be test spider environment one scripts, here it is, click on OK, and let's now try to restart the kernel just to make sure that the error doesn't appear, and here it is, no error, good. The next thing we need to do is actually to make a small test. First, let's verify that we are actually inside of our virtual environment that we just created. The first thing you need to do is to type pip or pipe list. And we should see only the packages inside of our environment. And these are actually the preci precisely the packages that you can see over here. And let's just verify that from the beginning, we can see the first one, the second one, etc. The next test to do is to actually run a simple script. So let's do that. Let us type import numpy as np and let's define a matrix, for example, matrix a should be numpy.array and let's specify this matrix to be 1, 2, 3, 4 and let's define a matrix B and now let's multiply two matrices to obtain the matrix C. Let me just np.math multiply that's the command a comma b and let's evaluate this and let's see the result and here it is here's the result okay however we can see that our code is working no issues but still this might not be the good test or the best test the best test or the most appropriate test would be to try to import a library that we didn't install. For example, we didn't install SciPy. And let's try to import a library just to verify that the environment that we are currently running is precisely the environment that we created. On the other hand, if, for example, after importing SciPy, we are able to execute the code and there will be no errors. This means that we are not running this particular environment, but instead we are running the base Anaconda environment. And we don't want to do that. So we want to create situation where the error will occur. Let's try to do this. Import SciPy. And let's see what will happen. Aha, uh -huh, perfect. No module name SciPy. Perfect. Let's now fix this error. Go back over here and type pip install scipy. Now, for these changes to take effect, click on console and click on the restart the kernel. 
And let's try to run this again, and the error doesn't occur. This means that we are actually running the Python interpreter from our virtual environment created over here. Okay, that's all for today, and thanks for watching.